Good night, everybody. Good night, Roman's chat. Good night, everybody. I love you all. Thank you for spending like 12 fucking hours with me today. I guess I just really needed the extra support. I wanted to have a good day. I never in a million fucking years thought I would ever even bring up anything to do with ever, ever to do with him again. So I'd like to say sorry, but the truth is <laughs> I'd be apologizing for feelings that are valid. And I don't ever want to do that. You know, I apologize for, I can apologize for things that I actually fucking do mess up, you know. But having been manipulated and abused for a year is not one of the things I should apologize for. <laughs> and having loved him, you know, like regardless of that treatment, I did love him a lot. Or I was in love with him. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Because you can say it was one week, just because you're like, you're believing what he says. He's a fucking manipulator. You can obviously see in my early live streams with him right from the get-go. Like, we, you know, that we're shopping together, we're, um, we're in bed together, I'm fucking spending all my time there, you guys are complaining I'm spending all my time there. Like, give me a break. You just change it up whenever it's fucking convenient for you to make me look bad or try to make me look worse. It's not even fucking... And that fucking just downplays my whole experience and then you people wonder why I get fucking upset about it. So... Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I just saw Foodie Beauty's latest live stream and it is clear she still has feelings for Nader because she's been repeatedly showing she has these feelings for Nader and she isn't afraid to vocalize it, to show it. She showed it in the collage, she's been talking about him here and there and like I said, this isn't the first dream and it won't be the last dream for the month of October that she goes on and keeps talking about him and will say anything positive about Nader or her past relationship with him and maybe even try to uh, skew what has happened in the past. But bottom line is, Footy Beauty isn't done with Nader. The true question is, does this have anything to do with October the 3rd? Because remember some alleged court date is happening tomorrow at the time of this recording as well as on the 12th i haven't uh confirmed the third i looked it up i didn't see anything uh it could just be it's not where i'm looking because there's you know of course more than one jurisdiction and um i, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow uh like i said there's still the october the 12th it's still gonna happen then but uh, what I can see is Foodie Beauty definitely is not done with Natter. Don't be surprised if she is actually still actively talking to him. Remember the whole Melissa Cook incident? Well, that happened and um, it'll happen again and again and again and again uh, until something big happens. So I'll see when that happens. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm sure some of, some of you have some mixed feelings. Some of you have some clear feelings on what should happen to Natter and uh, Foodie Beauty. Anyways, I will commentate and react to what is going on with her. So leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Take care.